All right, guys, so today I'm showing you a quick little lunch idea that I do for my toddler. Now, some of you guys know Joseph, and you know he does not like to eat anything, but he does like pizza. I had some croissant dough in the fridge for a recipe that I was holding on for and never did. So we're going to make little pizza roll-ups before it goes bad. So I just put, like, the little pizza sauce inside. We're going to add some cheese, some perones, as he likes to call it, and then I roll them up. I tuck in the sides, that way nothing comes out and everything stays inside. Here we got some butter, herbs, and some garlic, and then we butter up his croissant buns put it in the air fryer until it gets nice and crispy as soon as they come out of the air fryer i begin to separate them and watch out josiah because they're hot and then i just cut them in half and then set them up in a plate for him i add some marinara sauce some ranch for dipping because you know we need options also do some little cuties and cucumbers i don't do the little cute plates anymore because he starts eating the decorations and he scared me once plus it takes too much time and he doesn't eat it as you see he did everything but eat his food here at least he got a good facial there you have it guys hope you like this recipe bye Today I decided to bring you guys on a little morning routine with Nana Joe. Now the first thing I do when I wake up is get suited and booted so I can go to the gym because if I don't do that, then trust me, I will find every excuse not to make it to the gym. Yes, my armpits are black and I didn't shave, I don't care. I'm gonna brush the muelas because we do not like nasty and stinky breaths. And I wash off all of the eye boogers and babas from the night before, dry off my eyelashes, and then I moisturize. This time, the little human is up and he's asking for some chocolate milk. So we head into the kitchen, start hydrating, drinking some coffee, make that chocolate milk. Then we start prepping for the lunches and for joseph's little snack that he's going to take to the gym I wake up josiah so he can get up do his morning routine as i drink my pre-workout is it healthy to drink a uh, coffee and pre-workout probably not but i don't care that's how i function this day i did a little bit of cardio and some leg workouts with my other human we waddled our little asses down the steps i was scared i thought i was gonna fall off those stairs actually Meg and stallion knees were not working that day we get to the grocery store book my hair appointment as i'm in the parking lot then i came across this bagel and i sent it to my husband and you guys guys can imagine his reply got the rest of the stuff that i needed to finish my lunches and to finish prepping and then that was the rest of nana joe's morning actually afternoon because by this time it was five o'clock to show you guys how to pick the perfect papaya this one is that little pasadita the burger but that's because i let it sit a little bit too long outside i like my papaya to be super sweet so i always go for an orange papaya now if it's green it means it's too green if it's yellow and orange it means that it's almost getting there so just let it sit outside for a couple of days and once it turns orange and it stops then it's ready to enjoy but to open it you just split it in half remove the seeds don't eat them because you'll get chorro i peel the papaya cut it up but when i feel like killing time or just have too much time in my hands i just make it into like little balls now, some people don't like the smell or taste of papaya but if you try it with a little bit of passion fruit and tahini trust me it's gonna be probably one of the best things you ever ate not to mention it's gonna clear even your deepest darkest thoughts meaning it's gonna clear out your intestines especially if you eat it early in the morning there you have it guys that's how i choose my papayas bye Let's pack today's lunchbox for my friends and followers. Here we're making them this extra long and extra thick pasta that's what she said so we're gonna begin by making the chicken that's gonna go along with our pasta so to the breast assist we're going to split it in half then we're gonna split that other half in half and the other half in half so basically four halves we pound it out to make sure it's nice and thin and tender and then we're gonna season it up and then stuff it with whatever it is that you want this day i had done some provolone and the wheat coche. seared it up and then finished it off in the oven for the pasta sauce we're gonna make a spicy chipotle sauce so using all these ingredients i'm gonna list on the screen you're going to blend and then you're going to fry up the sauce and a little bit of butter add your cheese of choice i use some chihuahua and then the kobe one whole beak whatever the hell your pasta has cooked you're gonna add it to your sauce and by this time your chicken should be nice and rested because you know you gotta let that chicken rest or else it's gonna have juices leaking everywhere so dry you're gonna need vaseline to swallow it and then for plating we're gonna make a nice little bit of that pasta a little bit more of that with la coche and then the chicken's gonna go on top also gonna add a little bit of greenery you know so it can look nice and fresh this day was the same day that i made the chile rellenos so the option was chile rellenos and the pasta dish and for their drink have the option between the coke and the tuna water which was the prickly pear agua fresca this day i was burning rubber on somebody's baby mother got everything ready for them and they came and pick up during lunchtime bye To teach you guys the difference between a cabbage and a lettuce so pay attention husband and josiah no a lot of you guys have a problem telling them apart the cabbage happens to be heavy and hard like your head it's also a little on the rubbery side and most of the time it doesn't come inside a bag now to shred it i just use my potato peeler and then i use it on the pozole here we have the lettuce or la lechuga last time i told you guys that you guys have to pick the soft one whenever you squeeze it it has to be you know fluffy kind of airy a lot of you guys said no that's not true well thank god my dad brought 
me a bad lettuce because I would never buy one like this and I'm gonna show you the reason why. This is a little bit on the harder side. It is heavy as fuck and it is super, super, uh, what is that word I'm looking for? Compressed. Now this type of lettuce is not gonna work if you're trying to make hamburgers or wraps. As a matter of fact, I don't know what the hell was inside of the lettuce, but there was something growing in there. Now this is the more airy one, the more soft one, usually comes inside a bag. All lettuce comes inside a bag. I literally just remove the core and I don't even struggle. I just flare it open and each individual leaf comes off the lettuce and is ready for your delicious wraps or for hamburgers, sandwiches, whatever it is that you're gonna use. And there's no critters, creatures, nests growing inside of it. So the cabbage is hard and heavy and it doesn't come in a bag. Lettuce should be nice and airy. Usually comes in a bag. Hope this helps, guys. Bye. Let's pack today's lunchbox, my friends and followers. Now, it's been a while since my husband has been asking for Cuban sandwiches. And the last time he requested them, I messed up the pork. I oversalted it and he couldn't have them. He didn't get to eat the Cuban, but he did eat this Mexican. But I guess it's time, you know, we make some Cuban sandwiches in the house for him. We're gonna begin by prepping the pork. I'm gonna use sriracha as a binder and then we season it up with our favorite seasoning. And I know I did not wanna put this in the oven, but it's too damn hot outside to put it in the smoker. Now my secret for the Cuban sandwiches is mixing mayo with garlic and then I spread it on the bread, put it on the comal, let it get nice and crispy on both sides. And for the spread that's gonna go all over these buns, we're gonna do a mixture of mayo and mustard. We spread that mayo all over them buns, couple slices of ham and Swiss to my Michael that way the cheese can get nice and melted. Put that on your buns. Then you're gonna top that off with lots of pulled pork. And if you want it a little bit on the extra cheesier side, then just add more cheese. But as little or as many pickles as you like, I'm gonna put a shitload. To crisp up our Cuban, we're gonna spread the outside with the mayo and the garlic mixture. Let it get nice and crispy. And then I carefully wrap it up in some parchment paper, split it in half, and then this is what it looks like. Put it in the box along with the side of some crispy fries, some ketchup, and then for the drink they got sodas because because the kitchen was way too hot for me to be in there. There you have it guys, they come and pick up during lunchtime. Bye! Let's pack today's lunchbox, my friends and followers. We're making them a little breakfast for lunch. We're gonna make some tortitas de chicharron in a green sauce, okay? We're gonna begin by separating the egg whites and the egg yolks. Egg whites, you're gonna get them nice and stiff, just like your knees. <laughs> just kidding, those are mine. You're gonna slowly incorporate your egg yolks and that's gonna be your batter. Now for the chicharron, you can use the cheap kind I'm using or you can go to the carniceria and get yourself the good kind. Honestly, it's up to you, it doesn't matter. But you are gonna crush the chicharron, now pulverize it, okay? We're gonna crush it, mix it into the egg batter, and then you're gonna fry them up in a little bit or a lot of bit of oil, up to you again. Then for the green sauce, you're gonna boil some tomatillos, jalapenos, and serranos. Then you're gonna transfer everything to the blender along with all the other ingredients I'm gonna list on the screen. Then you're gonna fry it up with a little bit more oil. Yeah, I know. You transfer those mother truckers into the sauce, let those simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. You can make the sauce as thin or as thick as you like it. I like a nice and thick. Add a little side of rice, a side salad, and then some queso fresco. And of course, you know, we can't forget the tortillas. Now for the drink, they have the option between a soda or a watermelon, dragon fruit, agua fresca. That's it, guys. I'm just gonna get everything ready for them so they can come pick up during lunchtime. Bye! 